Good day, everyone. You are welcome to the presidential chat with Junior Chamber International Nigeria University of Benin. My name is Prosper Peters, and I'll be your host. With me here is the local organization president. Mr. President, can we meet you? Thank you very much, Prosper. My name is Shei Yodebode, and local organization president, Junior Chamber International Nigeria University of Benin. I'm a fifth year student of Science Laboratory Technology. Nice. And I'm glad <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I'm glad to be doing this today. Okay, so to begin with, how does it feel being the president of a prestigious organization? <laughs> Exciting. Okay. Challenging. Please give me some more words. That's how it has been so far. It's exciting to lead a group of young people who provide development opportunities that empower themselves to create positive change. It's challenging because you have to lead people, mm. you have to handle resources, and coupling all this together can be sometimes tiring. But in all, it's been a learning experience for me, and I'm super excited to be doing this. We hear you the mega agenda president. So what does this MEGA really stand for? Can you just explain to us what it's all about? All right, thank you. MEGA is the acronym for M, Membership, Growth and Retention, E, Engagement and Empowerment, G, Grand Initiatives, and A, Alliance for Strategic Partnership. Now, MEGA is the presidential theme for this year. This year, we're looking at growing our membership and also retaining our members. To be able to do this, we will ensure that our members are engaged in all activities of the local organization, okay. and they're empowered, they're skilled up for what is to come. And this year, we're introducing grand initiatives. For example, we have the introduction of the secondary school outreaches, okay. the 10 Outstanding Students Awards TOSA, and also the Gift a Girl Child Prepared Project. These are grand wow. initiatives we are bringing in. And finally, Alliance for Strategic Partnership. We have a whole lot lined up this year. For us to do this, we need to do so much more, even with so much less. And then seeking strategic partnership from corporate bodies, private organizations, non-governmental organizations, and the likes. So about the experiences and the challenges, have you ever envisaged all of it? And do you think you, you were prepared for them? Well, <laughs> Challenges are bound to happen, and I particularly think that I envisage this. I envisage a number of challenges. It's been over two months in office right now, and it has come with so many challenges, right? In fact, the first challenge came from appointing members of the board. <laughs> that was the earliest challenge I faced. But what, like John Maxwell would always say, he says the life of a leader is full of challenges. It's either you are just getting out of a particular challenge, you're about to enter another one, or you're about to live in under that. So it's been challenge, challenging and that is one reason why I'm so much excited and interested in it. I love challenges and I'm willing to dare to get on those challenges. I'm prepared. Before I come there, yeah, before I aspired for the office of the president, mm. I felt I have the capacity, I have what it takes and um, while I do not have a total grab on all challenges I'll face as president. I believe just like a staircase, one step at a time. So when we meet this challenge, we're going to surmount it. We meet the next challenge, we're going to surmount it. It's going to be a hop hill tax. Do you have a role model or someone you look up to? Yes, I do. Who is? My role model is John C. Maxwell, my leadership role model. Okay. I love Barack Obama. My leadership <laughs> John C. Maxwell is my role model. Uh, he inspires me so much. I've consumed a number of his books and many times I just ask myself how much knowledgeable a person can be in this aspect of leadership. And alongside this journey, I've always had to fall back on what Maxwell has to say on XYZ issues. And so far, the results have been mind-blowing. It works. Thank you, John. We are aware that you've introduced two new directorates into the local organization. What must have prompted you to do that? I, I believe you're referring to the Director of Special Content and the Director yeah. of Community Projects. Yeah, right. So for Director of Special Content, we saw the need to have a particular directory that handles and serves our needs on photography, photography rather, videography, special content such as podcasts, manage our YouTube channel, etc. Pro producing um, 
educational materials on this channel. So we founded the director of special content and also concerning the directorate of community projects. As an organization, we embark on community projects. It is wise and necessary that we have a director that is solely responsible for our community project. And thus, why not? Let's get a directory for community project. Now this is not new. I can remember vividly in the year 2019 we had a directorate of community projects, yeah. but um, successive administration after that probably they felt there was no need for it. Okay. But I thought to reintroduce the directorate of community projects, and so far, um, the guys are doing very well there. Talking about JCI Mega Agenda and your studies, I would like to know how you are balancing school and the local organization. <laughs> this is a question a number of persons ask me. Shay, how do you balance JCI um, with academics? And I think fairly well, I'm doing very well. I'm not doing bad balancing academics with JCI because they are both different things and I handle them differently. From academics, I face focus on academics, and for JCI, I focus on JCI. I think um, a huge chunk of this lies on time management. How much am I able to manage my time effectively for JCI activities and also for academics? First thing I know is that I'm a student of the University of Benin. Before being president or a member of Junior Chamber International Nigeria University of Benin. Like my friend Toby Aydele will say, he says, Shay, you're first a student and you are married to your school first before JCI. So effectively time management, I feel sometimes, yeah, I'm not 100% perfect, but this way it has helped me. Okay, talking about things that you are married to, is there any lady, any special lady that you admire? Oh, Your academics? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. There are ladies I admire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, admiration is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, so, yes, yeah. there are ladies I admire. They are ladies. Like, I've been talking about one special person. <laughs> I don't oh. know. There are ladies I admire. <laughs> That's <special. laughs> Can you tell us one weird thing about you? Weird. Okay. What I can consider weird right now is the fact that I wear my socks before I wear my trouser. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the very first thing, before I put on my trouser at any time, I'll always put on my socks first, then I'm going to wear my trouser, then I put on my shoes. So my trouser first, sorry, my socks first for my trousers. I was expecting something worse. Something worse? I don't know. I wouldn't know if this is weird, but I'm always with my pen. You never find me without a pen. Right. Okay. Final question, Mr. President. Okay. Um, about the JCI creed, what line of it resonates with you most? The last line of the creed resonates with me most, and it is service to humanity is the best work of life. I strongly believe that when we serve humanity in whatsoever capacity, in whatsoever way we can, that is the best work of, work of life. And leadership to me, leadership is service. Beyond influencing people, leadership is all about service. So the last line of our creed, service to humanity is the best work of life, it transcends most to me. Thank you, Mr. President Shea Odebode for coming out for this presidential chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you doing great things in the local organization. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And now we've come to the end of the presidential chats. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to having and seeing you next time. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and see you next time.